All right, trying out uh, another system for encasing the batteries. Uh, this time, I'm going to take advantage of some of the free resources that I have from working at a sign shop, and that is scrap aluminum angle and scrap sign faces. This used to say something, um, but this is uh, Sign White Lexan. Uh, this has been sun faded. Uh, they usually have a UV protection. You can see. Uh, where it's yellowed here a little bit from where it was exposed and where it wasn't. So I don't know that this is necessarily going to be the best specimen, but if it's durable now after being exposed to UV, then a fresh sheet will be fantastic. This is 3 uh, probably overkill, but again, it's what I have for free at my disposal. So the process I'm going to go through is lay this on here, scribe my line with a Sharpie. Uh, I'm not going to actually scribe it uh, and, and scratch it at all. I'm just going to put a, a surface mark. And then bring it over here to my line benders. Those of you who have done some searching or have ever worked with acrylics might be familiar with these. Uh, essentially, it's a fantastically expensive resistor put into, in this case, a five-foot-long... Uh, piece of aluminum, 3 eighths by 3 quarters of an inch, and it just heats it up using these little, I assume, variax or some sort of who knows what in here. doesn't matter. They click on, click off. Maybe you can tell me what's in there. I don't care. But uh, I'm going to heat them up, set these to uh, d do the job, and I'm going to clamp the heated piece into the mold here. And I've done this before to where I have a exterior mold and then the acrylic or Lexan would sit on the inside curve right here. And that gives a nice gentle bend. But I don't want to put any pressure on the corners of the pouch cells. So I want to have a much more sharp of an interior uh, edge of the bend. So I'm going to try using this jig here on the inside with of course a nice sharp edge and then clamp a couple of these on the outside and squeeze it into place and obviously with this uh, making the interior shape I can control exactly where those bends are at regardless of where the heat might be most concentrated in the material itself. These are usually kind of uh, a bit of an art. You screw up several of them before you get it right but hopefully I can get this one right the first time. Nevertheless, like I said, this is the first time I'm going to be doing this particular technique. I'm most keenly curious about just how sharp I can get it to uh, conform, but then also what the structure of it will be. Uh, with having a gentle curve, it's very strong. You can literally jump on it. I've had a 350-pound man jump on Lexan, or not Lexan, I'm sorry, acrylic, which is more brittle than Lexan, after it's been bent with these line benders and it did not shatter. Uh, he hurt himself when he slipped and fell, but the acrylic withstood it. And this being Lexan, it has a lot more give to it. Uh, this will take a bullet, no, not really, but it will take a beating. So I will uh, continue to make installments as this process continues. You'll note I do not bother combining all of these little segments into one video. Uh, actually, I like to be able to have each of my steps uh, segmented with uh, a YouTube playlist being the uh, way to go from one to the next. You can fast forward or to whatever section you want to look at uh, for future reference if you like that way. So uh, I appreciate any feedback if you'd prefer otherwise, but for the time being, I'm lazy. I'm just going to upload them directly one at a time and not do a whole lot of post-processing. Tune in later.